Hi, you guys. So I want to show you guys how you can take roll, even if you don't have like a zoom, like one of the upper plans. Uh, one of the ways that you can do it is you can use the waiting room. So a waiting room is great to have because it it disables, it doesn't allow students to get there before you. And that's really important because you don't want four or five students in the room before you chatting with themselves and you don't, they don't have any supervision. And so the waiting room makes them where they can't come in unless you're there and you admit them into the Zoom meeting. So you can see over here, I have a couple people that are trying to come in. And so what I do to take attendance, even though I even have the upper plan, which will allow you to run reports and you can see how long kids were in and all this stuff. A lot of times this is just really how I take attendance is I'll go over here on the side. Okay. And I have like a little, I actually print this out and I like check mark and I just look to see who's in class. So I'll go like, Oh, okay. You know, um, Oh, a Treyu Garcia is trying to get in. Yep. He's in class and I'll check mark him off. So I'll put a little check there. Okay. And I'll admit him cause he's on my roster. Same thing, Sarah Smith. Oh, yep, she's on my roster too, so I'll check mark her off. And then, oops, I forgot to put X. There we go. And then, so I can admit her. And so I kind of just take my time and I make sure the students I'm letting I'm letting in are the students who are supposed to be there. And then you can see right here. Oh, Smarty Pants is not one of my students, so I'm not going to let that person in. So not only is the waiting room great for you, but allows you to. Um, make sure in terms of classroom management that you're not letting someone in who's not supposed to be there. And what's also nice is that when students are inside, they can't see the people in the weight room. So if someone does try to come in with an inappropriate name, they can't see it. Sometimes um, I, I will remove these people, but sometimes when I remove them, they'll try and come back and back. Anyways, and so like um, that can get, kind of be an issue. So I think there's in a settings you can fix that. But anyways, because it just said something about that. But a big thing here is the waiting room is great and then it allows you to take attendance. Don't do what I did like the first day. I was like, oh, I was like kind of new to the Zoom. I'm like, I'll let everyone in. And that was not a good idea because you can let in someone who is not supposed to be in your room and they might do something inappropriate. They might say something. They might show something. And so it's really good, again, to use that waiting room, but also to be able to take attendance. So you can see over here. And then you could also screenshot if you want, like throughout to make sure that those people are still staying in as well. And you can count them again if you don't have that. I mean, if you think about it, some teachers are saying use a Google form, but you're going to be in the same spot with a Google form because the Google form is just going to real quick take role who's there. But how are you going to consistently see, stay, see that they're staying in? So anyway, so that's why it's nice, I think, just to take your time and just check mark as the students come in and make sure, yep, that's a student. Yep, that's a student. And then again, like just check to make sure, do I still have 30 students? Or, you know, you might notice after you take a couple screenshots, like, hey, the student disappears and stuff. But anyways, I also want to stop the video real quick and just mention that other ways to check a uh, student attendance or participation is I will look at, I use Nearpod and I use Pear Deck and you can use other things as well. I just like those. Um, and so I will um, have the students do activities where they have to answer questions and stuff through a lecture or participate. And then I'll look at the outcome um, on those reports at the end in those programs to see if the students participated and stuff. So if a student didn't participate on anything, then, you know, they want to get points for that lecture or for that Zoom that day. So anyways, those are some other ideas ideas as well. Back to the video. <laughs> so I hope the, I hope that's helpful. And you see that I was able to also remove that person by clicking on them and clicking remove. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye.